Yeah, I mean, certainly the one thing I think we can take from the recent games is that we are creating so many more chances. Um, obviously, Gonzalo coming in has been a massive factor in that. Um, he helps us a lot up there. Um, I mean, creating 21 to 2 chances, usually you would say that's all oh, that team must have won. One thing I would say is huge credit to Atlanta for the way they they were putting their bodies in the line. It wasn't that we were missing clear-cut chances, really. It was um, they defended well. Um, of course, we would like to have added more than one goal with the 21 attempts we had. Um, but I think the other night, one of the main things that we spoke about was it's going to be hard to break teams down and no team's going to give you an easy win here. So um, when we do go 1-0 up, it's important that um, you see that game out. It's not a disaster to win games 1-0. Um, so one thing we probably need to look at is the, the flip side of it. Why did we concede the goal we conceded with them only having two attempts rather than how can we turn more of those chances into goals because that will come um, um, with the players we've got. I'm sure we'll score goals. It's about how we can t- keep it tight at the other end. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously with the Montreal game, it's important when you're playing against your direct rivals to um, try and get the win, get the three points because they're almost, they act like a six point or really if we can pick up three, um, Montreal lose three and we're right there in the playoff push and we just need to keep performing the way we're performing and um, try and take maximum points from the remaining games. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, next, we'll go to Steve Brenner. Steve, you're off mute. Thanks, Jackie. Hey, Lewis, how are you doing? Um, I'm sure you've seen that Scotland are on fire at the moment. I think three three wins in, in a row. I don't think that's happened since well, maybe 300 years. But um, you know, you've 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 had two caps before. Is that is that something that you'd you'd like to you know revisit again? And do you think that, that being in the US, that they're seeing what you're doing? Because you know, I'm not not going to blow smoke up your your backside, but you've, you've been playing well. It looks like you've you've got a good chance of, of potentially being in that in that conversation if 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 the call ever comes. Yeah, I mean, obviously with the situation at the moment, the coronavirus, fans probably don't know. I was called up um, in the previous squads, but I've been unable to travel with the coronavirus situation. Um, so yeah, I knew coming out here with this league that it was something that gets a lot of, um, there's a lot, there's a spotlight in this league at the moment, it's thriving. Um, and there's Scottish players out here like Johnny Russell have come out and proven that you can get in the international squad. So that's something I always knew was was going to come if I was performing well. And it's it's great to see um, the manager and the boys been able to put a, a good run of form together back in the national stage and hopefully I can join up with them soon. Thank you, Steve. Uh, we'll go to Franco Paniso. Franco, you're off mute. Thanks, Jackie. Hey, Lewis, how are you, man? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Lewis, uh, t- two, qu- two questions for you. The first, uh, obviously on the weekend, wasn't the result you guys wanted, but you guys did get to play in front of some of your home fans at home uh, for the first time. So just we didn't get to ask uh, Will after that after that game about how the experience was. So just how was that experience to play? Obviously, it's still far from being a full stadium and a, and a packed house, but how was that experience for you guys as players after such a long way to, to have fans in your home venue? You know, it happened in Orlando um, on the recent match there. And the second one, when we talked back in August, um, you know, you said you wanted to up – your production in terms of goals and, and assists, and you've done that um, by a good margin. But I, I got to ask you, as a set piece taker, uh, the designated set piece taker, the team hasn't scored off a direct set piece except for Gonzalo Higuain's uh, free kick. You guys haven't scored off a of set piece. What needs to improve? Why haven't you guys been able to to score in that regard in that facet of the game to give you guys an extra yourselves an extra element to break open defense and break open games? Thanks, Liz. Yeah, thanks, Franco. Um, obviously, first and foremost, to have the fans in the stadium was amazing. Um, their support's been unwavering. They've, they've showed patience at times. Obviously, they've waited so long to to be able to attend games. And although they've not been able to be in the stadium with us for the most part, you hear them outside the stadium making noise for the full duration, um, even in the crazy weather that we have here. So we're so grateful for their support. And hopefully, we're starting to repay that now with the a good run of form we're on. Um, it was great to see them in there and hopefully soon we can return to full attendances and I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, the set-piece thing. I mean, at the moment, it's, it's hard to put our finger on it. We, for the most part, we've been keeping our set-pieces quite similar. So, I mean, it's not as easy as putting the ball in and someone going in heading it. There's eight, nine guys in the opposition team wanting to put the ball out. Um one thing I would say is we touch on that 
the guys that are making those runs um, and they're they know that there's an opportunity for them when I'm over the set piece um, deliveries that if they can make the correct runs then more often than not I, I back myself to be able to find them um, and yeah the goals will come the most important thing obviously is that um, we're all chipping in with goals and as I say Michelle's question earlier on there we need to when we do take the lead in these games to see it out because it's a tough league and um, no one's going to give you anything for free and especially on set pieces even more so um, so I'm sure between now and the end of the season, we'll, we'll add to that set piece, Dali. Thank you, Franco. I will take one more question from Alfonso. Alfonso, you're off mute. Thanks, Jackie. Um, Lewis, considering what's happened on Wednesday against Atlanta United, is this Saturday's game's final to qualify for the playoffs? Yeah, I mean... The games are running out with five games left of the season. Every single game is important, starting with um, this game we've got tomorrow against a direct rival. Um, all the games are important. Now we need to try and take as, as many points as possible. Um, at the moment, obviously, we don't occupy one of those playoff spaces and we know all the other teams around us. There's probably six or seven teams fighting um, to get in there. So we know everyone's going to be pushing and we need to make sure that we are doing our best to to take as many points as we can starting with tomorrow um, and with the run of form we're going on we're, we've got momentum on our side and we need to try and keep that going Perfect, thank you Lewis for your time Thank you guys